Hello friends. Today I will discuss the advantages of electrical heating. So here there are some of the terms which I discuss. First, why should we study the heating? What is the necessity of it? Then we discuss about the what is the definition of heat? Then what is meant by electrical heating? Then what is meant by domestic heating? What is meant by industrial heating? And then we go to the advantages of this electrical heating. So if you look at this, first necessity of the electrical heating or simply heating. See there is a saying, heat is life, cold is death. If a person is there, so when you go to the hospital, the doctor will first take the hand and look at the pulse and if there is a temperature then he will treat. If there is no temperature then he will say is no more. So similarly for living so we need heat. So without heat we cannot cook, we cannot uh, have the chai or tea or we cannot have the electrical vehicles. So without heat, there is no life in the world. So without heat, we don't find any plants. So the heat coming from the sun will make the plants to live, to make the, their food ready. Like this, heat is necessary. Then coming to the definition of heat, what is meant by heat? So heat is nothing but transferring the temper I mean, uh, energy from high temperature body to low temperature body. So this is called the heat. So how do you transfer the heat? So there are three methods like this. So one is called conduction method, the other is called the convection method, the third one is called the radiation method. So look at this. So here is the sheet and this is the rod held by a hand like this. And it is that a rod is directly connected to the heat source. So then this rod going to get the temperature from this hot body to this rod. The rod, rod is initially at cold temperature or room temperature. But once you put it in contact with the heat source like this, this is the heat source or women. So from there, heat directly enters the, this rod and make its temperature to rise. This is called the conduction method. Now there is another method of Heating means heat means it is nothing but transferring the energy from hot body to the cold body or normal temperature body. Here water is there in the bowl and we have the stove here, electric stove. So this stove we call this as hot body whereas the water inside the bowl we take it as cold body. So once the bowl is placed like this, the heat is transferred from this oven to the water like this, means to the water particles or molecules like this. First enters to some particles and then that heat will be transferred to the other molecules like that it will be transferred. So that is called convection type of heat transfer. Similarly, there is a third one. So here is the fire or the woven and here you, you have the hand and say this is winter. So then we keep the hands nearby so that we get the heat transfer from this fire to this hand so that you feel comfortable. 
this is called radiation the heat coming from the sun is nothing but a radiation method of transferring the heat so sun is hot body whereas the rest of the world we consider that as cold body so heat comes from the sun to the other bodies on the earth so what are the so these are the types of uh, men transferring the heat so that heat may be produced by the coal or that may be produced by the uh, wooden or that may be produced by the electric current so whatever may be the heat but that is the me meaning of heat is just transferring the energy heat energy from hot body to the cold body next what is meant by electric heating if we get the heat for this all these types of transferring heat by using electrical power then we call as electric heating then where do we use, we use that electric heating there are two types of heating one is called domestic heating the other is called industrial heating so what are the domestic heating so these are all the domestic equipment which we normally use like mixer this is the oven used for cooking and whereas this is the heater used for heating the water in the bucket and this is the geyser which is used to store the hot water and heat the water and this is the electric blanket which is used during the winter condition to keep the body warm these are all some of the domestic applications of the electric heating so they all operate normally with the single phase supply single phase ac supply and coming to the industrial applications so let us say this is a oven used for drying the small transformers not only that any equipment which is small in size we can heat with this oven so this comes under the category called industrial heating similarly this is another heater this is a oven type thing this is used for heating the fruit pulp to a temperature of 6000 degree centigrade so that all bacteria will die and after that they seal it and then transfer it or transport it so then so just now we have seen what is domestic heating water heater room heater hot pressing oil machines washing machine dryers microwave oven induction heating stove sterilization of medical instruments in the hospitals sterilization of utensils in hotels all these are nothing but domestic application heating materials or instruments so coming to the industrial heating so we also use industrial heating uses high power so the instruments or the devices used or the equipment used for industrial heating is also bulk in nature so the applications comes like this oil heating immersion heater for chemical industry similarly crude crude oil heating pulp heating and duct heating pipe heating oil and gas heating which is used in the refineries oil refineries so these are all the applications which we use in daily life then what are the advantages of electrical heating over the other types of heating so the first thing is it is more economical as electric furnaces are cheaper at initial cost and also it is easy to maintain at with low 
cost. Similarly, it is also useful. I mean, uh, we don't find any flue gases. So, absence of flue gases, this is another advantage. Similarly, cleanliness. Compared to the other methods of heat transfer or heating, electric heating is much cleaner, more hygienic. Similarly, it is very easy to control the temperature of the electrical equipment. And there is a automatic protection with the electric equipment. So there are circuit breakers, there are fuses. So all those things will look into the protection. Similarly, there is an upper limit for the temperature in the electrical equipment. So there is a setting. Once the temperature reaches automatically, power supply will be cut off and then the environment will be safe. Similarly, where we want the very high temperatures or special heating requirements. So he electrical heating is more useful or more easy to adapt. Similarly, coming to the efficiency of the electrical equipment, it is very high compared to the other methods of heating. 